Hello everybody, my name is Kitamo, welcome back for a new series. You already know, Life is Strange, True Colors, boys. Been waiting for this game for a long time. Uh, now, I am a big fan of the Life is Strange uh, franchise, I gotta say. I really am a big fan. Uh, it's kind of been a hit and miss kind of franchise overall, but the high, there, there's a lot of low lows and a lot, a lot of high highs in terms of expectations for games. Um, this one looks to be a very high one. I'm thinking that this could be a very good game. It has a lot of potential. Hopefully it's not, it's going to be one of those good games and not uh, a, a miss. Because it's a really, I'm really hoping to have one of those games that I'm having such a fun time, you know. So um, right now... Basically, uh, we're gonna jump right into it. We're not gonna ma waste any time. Continue your grid, your policy. I can continue, whatever. This game features accessibility options to customize each player's experience. Would you like to adjust these settings before proceeding? So let, uh, let's see what these are all about, boys. So the font style and everything. Source Santa Sans Pro. I'm just going to pull that default, whatever. Longer choice timer, huh? Uh, I think I would. Yeah, I think I want that. I, I want that if I want to have a, like a bigger amount of time to actually choose a decision, make a decision. I want to do uh, have that. Skip gameplay prompt. If this setting is enabled, a prompt will appear before gameplay events that may require quick reflexes, giving you the options to skip that event. Okay, that's kind of nice. That's kind of a cool option. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it off for now though. Jar control, so could you keep holding or tapping. I'm gonna keep holding. Uh, power controls as well. Uh, filter, edit. So color filter, brightness warning. If this setting is enabled, a prompt will appear before intense visual experience take place, giving you the option to adjust the game's brightness. Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. Volume warning uh, will appear before intense audio experience. I like that. They, I like the fact that they're giving us the option right here. Now, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to change these off because I don't feel like I need to. Uh, edit the colors, though. So, filter mode. What is that going to do for the colors and stuff? I'm not sure. I mean, the game is called True Colors. I imagine it's going to have something to do with colors and all. Uh, so, filter mode. Oh, okay. I got you. For people that are blind, color like colorblind or something like that. I'm not going to put any filters on. I think I'm going to be fine as it is. All right, let's apply all of this, boys. I think we're going to be fine. Let's do it. Let's press back. And uh, link your uh, NX uh, members account to the game to join the community. Uh, access contents, uh, contests, and get exclusive new updates. I'm going to skip that. I don't need that. So buy stealth story. So what is Steph story exactly? So this is basically a bonus DLC. It's a it's a bonus mission basically. I'm not going to do that. That's like 18 bucks for a bonus mission. You can forget about that one. Not doing that. I don't even know if I'm going to like the game itself. So uh, gameplay, we're good. First thing we're going to look at is audio. Obviously the music. Now there's one the, fun, the one the one thing is in the games like Life is Strange games the music is so good there's really some good music problem is it's all copyrighted and there's never an option to uncopyright it so I'm gonna keep it in for now I'll keep the music uh, we'll see if it's copyrighted if it's copyrighted I might after the first video if I get copyrighted claims and stuff like that I might turn it off. But uh, for now, we'll keep it in, I guess. A English, I guess. Text language, English, everything, everything seems fine. T the title size, uh, how about default? Yeah, letterboxing, in-game text size. I think everything's fine. Yep. All right, there we go. Let's press back. Live stream. So crowd choice. So enable while playing on a live stream platform to allow your audience to help make choices that's really cool if you do that so i can connect and everything that's really cool and you got uh, the poll timer for the chat to decide whatever we want to do that's kind of cool so you that means it's very live stream friendly uh I, I like that quite a lot mute license music ah there it is so i'm gonna put that on so i'm gonna keep the music all the way up but i can i'm gonna be able to mute the license music i like that so apply that so we're not gonna have, we're not supposed to have any uh, copyright now. 
All right, so I think we're good, boys. Let's jump on in. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Well, here we are, boys. To meet him at the bridge. Straight off the bat. I can't wait to see him. So, uh, our brother, his name Ga is Gabe. Funny enough, because my name is Gabrielle in real life. Am I her brother or something? The hell? How she? How does she know me, boys? All right. So, do we need? Do we know how to sprint? Is there a sprint button? No, nothing. The camera movement and everything. Everything seems pretty much fine. Uh, there's somebody here that I can probably already talk to right here. So let's let's try to interact with as many people as we can uh, right off the bat, boys. Or at least the people I'm intrigued for about. Uh, I can't talk to this guy. I don't think I can, boys. So I think I'm stuck. This is a pretty game, boys. I think it's the prettiest graphics that Square Enix has done as of yet, I, I feel like. Uh, they, they were doing a pretty decent job with the whole Marvel situation. But uh, you know how that went out. They tried too hard and it ended up flopping very big time in cutscenes. Hopefully it's not going to be the same case here. Hopefully they actually uh, learn from their mistakes because this looks pretty as hell. This is truly a lot more beautiful than the previous games. And uh, you can feel you feel like they're actually upgrading their, their whole setup and stuff like that. I like that. This is very peaceful, boys. This is a classic Life is Strange moment when you can just r sit back and relax and just look at the world as it is. Just let it, let it uh, take control of you. The Life is Strange games are usually oh, like shit. very chill and stuff, That's so... Really him. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Hug? Of course I'm gonna hug him. He's my brother. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna just handshake him. I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> I mean, come on. He's my brother. Why wouldn't I hug him? <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She saw it growing up. I missed it. I'm a Interesting. She'll see she's a telepath, yeah. boys. Interesting Tell powers. You. Are you ready to see the town? 
Uh, let's do it. Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above the bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be white. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice. Oh, hold, hold on now. Meet you. Hugging me like that, Hello. good lord. Oh. All right then. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. I can see why they call it Haven. That's for sure. It literally looks like a goddamn Last of Us game all of a sudden. Apocalyptic. What the hell is going on here? Way too many trees. Looks like a public garden all over the place, boys. Oh well, still looks like a beautiful place nonetheless. I mean, yeah, we could do with a little bit less flowers though. Brown bear, the diner. Alright. You can get the feeling of uh, the entire world. It's going to be a nice place. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey Gabe. Riley, meet my sister Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? Be honest, be clever. I'll be in. Oh, I guess I'll be honest. What's the point of being clever? I mean, this girl's fine with me. I'll be honest with her. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Exactly. Call and them. then people can uh, don't know when you lie. You two are already. If you're always honest, people won't know when you lie. Seems that, way. that makes you all the more dangerous. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you oh, you think? take what she likes. What did you do? Uh, what did you do? Well, Lily of the Valley, sunflowers. If she likes sunflowers, you give her sunflowers. It's that simple. You're not going to give her some bullshit flower that the internet tells you to, uh, to get. Come on now. If Charlotte loves sunflowers... Go with the sunflower. Yeah, it's pretty simple. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> with this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No. Not yet, I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. <laughs> this girl over there, uh, Riley that is, clearly has some eyes for uh, for my brother, that's for sure. So statuette, we can look at that. There's some por important things we can look at that possibly could influence the future. Not too sure what's going to be influencing the future as of now. Let's interact with the garden books, though. How to kill everything you touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. All right, so it's just the same person. Okay. Uh, so uh, we got a bunch of stuff. Watering can. 
You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. We got some greeting cards as well, boys. Can't do anything with that. Uh, the the gnome. Oh no! I did I just get gnome, boys? You gotta be shitting. Sunglasses. Let's put some sunglasses in him. Most of the characters, every time it seems like the characters have some sort of artistic, ar artistic um, design up on them. They're very artistic, so they love doing stuff like that. I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh God, please stop. No problem. <laughs> All right, Dina. Birdhouse. You can look at that. There's nothing really to look at that's very that interesting. Right now, so we're just gonna keep looting. Look at uh, the uh, valleys. What about the garden Alex book? Do, can I take one of them? A flower book by Alex Chen. So making the magic garden real, the perfect flower bed, or unlocking the flavors of the earth. Uh, the magic garden is real. Oh, I, I'm gonna take that one. Read? Okay. So I can just read them. Okay, I got you. All right, uh, there's pretty much nothing to do right now. There's a folder right here. Uh, when displayed to see emotions attached to a character. Oh, I can I can see. Oh, okay. What does that mean exactly? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got a uh, message. Meet Gabe across the bridge. Leave the flower shop. Okay. I got some messages right here. Uh, I don't want to read the messages just yet. I want to interact oh, with the photo. I wonder. So I do wonder what that purple means, right? She's like purple. Does she, is, does she mean she's in love with something? Uh, Chelsea. So I'll miss you. Don't let you push any around. Life has been hard the past few days, years, but I'm really glad we met. Me too. Who is Chelsea? I don't know who Chelsea is, boys. Uh, Gabe, that's my brother. I'm so excited. Dr. Lin. Okay, so that's the girl I was talking to. All right, so that's pretty much it, right? There's the journal and everything. Of course, the journal. Every character has a journal for some reason. Let me see really quick. So what does that mean exactly that she's purple? I, I don't know. I okay, so if I press that. Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Okay, interesting. So I can nearly read her mind. That's interesting. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I okay, do so I uh, already read that. So I guess that's what she was. That's what she's thinking about. So we're definitely a telepath, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of OP. Are we going to start building up a Cerebro or something? Become Prof. Xavier? Thanks. Or are we it's more on the terms of uh, Jean Grey? I'm not sure, boys, but kind of an interesting power, boys, being a telepath. We've already seen, like, obviously Max was uh, someone that travels through time. The, uh, the, uh, the previous Charlotte one, which uh, Life is Strange 2. It was uh, the little kid, right? The little brother. He was a telekinesis uh, 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 or whatever you want to call that. So uh, now we got a telepath on our hands. Which is going to be quite interesting. At some point, we, I imagine she's not going to be able to shut up uh, the voices in her head. But uh, that's really interesting. So you can see if I press that, we can see all the emotions that we can... Literally read in people's mind, but we can actually shut that on and off, which is a really good thing to do. I mean, really good. Uh, warning! What is this? Wow. Good to know. So, warning! Sirens will sound prior to detonation in areas without, within blast radius. Blasting notice: typhoon, typhoon. Okay, that's so interesting. Stuff just explodes around here every now and then. Well, sometimes you can feel it all the way down here. Intense. So I'm guessing he had uh, a thing. So uh, let me speak to him really quick. I guess I, that's what I gotta do. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once you know. It's no problem, really. Yeah, it's not a problem, my guy. Now is probably not the time for me to introduce myself gonna be longer than a minute trust me and who the fuck are you what with that okay. smile Gabe's your brother right I'm Ethan Charlotte's my mom hi Ethan I'm Alex what you reading 
straight forward and oh, has she found the scepter of serenity yet she's looking for the scepter but i think she'll need the bangle of vanishing to get to it vanishing my kind of power i prefer the fire ring well you know what i prefer the fire ring i'd rather shoot fire from my hand burn all my enemies to a crisp what if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> Maybe risky, but it cool. It looks cool as hell, as hell, my guy. Comics, I can show you the one I'm making. Oh, for real? You're making a comic? I'd All like right. to see it. Hey, show me, buddy. Promise I won't laugh, but uh, what a laugh. Unless it's a funny comic. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. What? What is it? No, it's cool. Promise you'll be careful. Ah, yeah, it's cool. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. He's a cool little kill, boys. No worries about that. I'm not... Why would I tell anybody about that? He likes to explore. Let him explore. Learn from himself, you know. He's a former a fellow explorer just like me. So, hey, do it, buddy. Oh, wow. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. Are we now? No way. Not sure what we're gonna do. Oh, she's actually recording? What the fuck is she doing? So that's the girl from uh, the DLC, whatever. Oh. I get to choose. Uh. Unicorn sandwich or zombie parade? You already know, boys. Zombie parade all day. Unicorn sandwich seems like pop shit. I'm not about pop. Let's do some zombie parade. Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Okay. That's just my I have a name, you know. You could have just asked me my name before saying some regular chick. Alright, well we got the radio right away right there. That's interesting. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait, are you Alex? Am I supposed to know you? Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Oh, it's pretty nice so far. Cool so far. I've seen some cool things so far. 
Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep. It's a cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah. Well, you could say that. The fuck is that? Dorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Oh, you're one of those persons. Oh, uh, I, I'm not gonna say it's nerdy. I mean, it's, that that that's a word, bad thing to say. I I I get triggered every time someone says uh, like the nerd thing, the N word, boys. That's literally the N word for me. You don't say that word. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. Oh, you're a park ranger. All right, that makes sense. Focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Step won't mind. Could be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? We're looking for something in particular here? No idea. You sure Steph won't Steph mind Steph because uh, this would basically be stealing right here. Or I guess it's not stealing if you intend to bring it back eventually. It doesn't mean... Uh, it, it doesn't mean you have to bring it back right away, right? A uh, Bolton bo uh, board. Uh, search the staff picks. Let's I'm search it. An indie pattern. Okay. Delightful. Uh, okay, we got a bunch of impressed. stuff. Call me impressed. The hell? There's some some uh, like uh, Jaws things right there. All right, I guess there's nothing in there. What am I uh, supposed to pick right here? Search. Oh, there's a cat right there. Wait. Look at the cat. Is that the whole oh, that's thing? gotta be it. Move the cat, scare the cat. Don't freak out. Just gonna. Okay. Okay then. All right. Fine by me. You got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use your toy to lure her away if we can find it. Give me a hand. My toy? The fuck are you talking about? I'm not gonna scare the cat. If that's what you're implying, I'm not scaring the cat, alright? You can forget about that already. I know you're gonna be a bad dude if you uh, start uh, telling me to scare cats. What does he think right now? I, I guess I, I can't read his mind or anything. I just can only help him out. Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? Probably the same thing as me. Unless he's like my sister in real life listens to completely different shit. Uh, I don't know. Benjo dubstep? Uh, a dubstep is absolutely bullshit. I don't, I don't like that. Acapella Screamo? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe dubstep. Uh, I, I, I doubt he would listen to acapella, boys. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I doubt anybody listens to cap uh, a cappella without going uh, like all in on it. I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. We're looking for a cat toy. Middle box, search for the middle box, I guess. The toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. 
I disown him. <laughs> what? Damn. Smash Mouth is great. What the fuck are you talking about? Why the fuck is she not like Smash Mouth? Well, next thing you know, she's not gonna like Nickelback? What type of bullshit girl is that? Alright, so ask. Uh, ask the cash register? Uh, I, I'm not gonna look into the cash register. That's that's not a thing you can do. Uh, the drawer, junk box. Probably the drawer. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. Hey, nothing wrong with that. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is the Canadian treasure. Hey, she is. Don't talk bullshit. Don't don't, don't stop talking bullshit about my Celine Dion, boys. I swear I'm gonna kill you if you do. She's a Canadian. She's a Quebec uh, Quebecan uh, uh, sensation as well. We're proud Maybe of her. In the junk box. Well, that was easy. <laughs> be safe out there. If I die, I'll be safe you too. Cat related death. Tell Gabe I'm sorry. Very cringy line right there, but that's okay. I forgive you, uh, Alex. All right, so we're going to give that uh, that toy to the cat in the next uh, video, boys. Uh pretty nice first video right here. I'm really hoping that you guys are enjoying it as well. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm going to have a lot of good time. As long as it's not too cringy. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.